Hello and welcome back to tutorial 108. This is part two of the video. If you haven't seen the first video, then you can go to markplex.com to the program website. You'll be able to watch that. And then uh, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at creating a user defined session. We're going to find the high and the low of that session and we're going to plot lines. So firstly, if we just look at the uh, inputs for this program, which I've uh, included already or written those already uh, we've got the uh, the session uh, starts at a particular time ends at a particular time now you'll know in this notice in this case that we're going to be starting in the evening and finishing in the morning the way the program's written you can also start in the morning and finish in the evening but we need to actually be a little bit careful how we program that so if the um, the start time is less than the end time. We do things in a slightly different way than if it's the other way around. So let me demonstrate that. So th let's just assume for the moment that the start time is a smaller number than the end time. In other words, it's the same day. And the way that we do that, and uh, incidentally, I've created a, a, a Boolean variable called in session. We're going to say in session is equal to time is greater than the start time I should say greater or equal to the start time the start time and time is less than or equal to the end time which I've called o night end okay so that would work where the start times are numerically smaller than the end time it wouldn't work where we have a start time one day and uh, an end time the next day so we need to handle that in a slightly different way. We're going to do that by saying if the O night start is a bigger number numerically than the end, then in session, I'm just going to copy this, It'll just save a little bit of time and swap things around a bit. Then in session, I'm going to put brackets around it, so we're going to say t is greater than the end time and is less than the start time, which is, if you think about it, the very times we, we don't want. But we're going to get over that by saying is equal to false. And then we can say else, in other words, if uh, O night start is less than O night end, then we calculate the session in another way. And uh, you can very quickly just check if the sessions are calculating correctly by doing something like if in session, then value one is equal to text, new, date, time, low and then just put a random little symbol there so uh, let's just verify that that should be value one one of the inbuilt trade station variables that should be a comma Okay, so let's look at the chart. And uh, if you recall, the start time was 1700, the end time was six. So we see we're seeing a mark on the 1710 bar, not on the 1700. So we need to just uh, go back and review this for a second. Okay, so these should not be greater than or equal because what we're doing is finding the session and then making sure it is false. So let's just verify that again. Okay, that looks better. So we've got the 1700 bar going all the way through to the six o'clock bar. Okay, so that's looking good. So the next thing we need to do now that we've worked out whether we're in a session or not is to uh, keep a running total of the session high and session low. So if in session, then begin. If 
pi is greater than ses high, then ses high is equal to high. If low is less than ses low, then ses low is equal to low. End. Okay. Now the other thing is because that session high is going to change every time we have a session, we need to clear the value so that we can recalculate it. So we're going to do that the bar after the session has ended. We find that which bar that is by saying if in session is false, so we're no longer in a session, and in session one bar ago was true, then begin. And we're going to say ses high is now equal to zero and ses low is equal to a fairly large number. We're going to say end. So they're reset at the end of each session. Now the other thing we want to do is the session's just ended. We want to just store the values into another variable. So we're going to store them in uh, one called uh, last session high. So that's going to be the value of ses high because we need that to um, be around for, for the whole of the time up until the end of the next session. So we do need to keep a record of that value. Okay, and we also need to do the plot. So let's just go have a look at the plot. And we're going to put these into plot six and seven. So plot six, last, ses, high. Now the downloadable programs are slightly different from these, but uh, a little bit more comprehensive. But this is just the, the basic basics of this program like so and uh, also what we probably want to do is just uh, make sure we don't get the situation where the price is all scrunched up so if we say if last session high is not equal to zero then plot six and if last ses low is not equal to then okay so let's just try and verify that and uh, just to make it easy to see I'm just going to comment out the other plots just so that we can focus in on the two that we're concerned with at the moment so let's just go to the chart again we've got a slightly um, difficult to see color so I'm just going to change the uh, plot six from blue to white in this case. Okay, so you'll see that uh, the uh, session ended there and it seems like the highest price in the session was actually on this bar here. You'll see that uh, at the same time we also start plotting the, the lowest price of the session, which looks like it actually started perhaps this bar here looks like that actually the first bar of the the session in other words the uh, the 1700 bar okay so if we uh, we get all the other plots back now you'll see the whole thing um, as I mentioned this is available for download if you're a gold pass member I'm gonna make this available for download for free and uh, hopefully there's some interesting little programming techniques here and hopefully maybe it could possibly be useful to you. Anyway, uh, thank you for your time.